This is a help video to familiarize you with the setup and use of Razor Gauge Parts List Processor software. It is the translator program that will convert files to a format that can be used with either Razor Gauge Auto List or Razor Optimal machines. Before setting up Parts List Processor, you must already have a file that was produced by your design software. Please note that most design application companies charge a fee to unlock their cut list file output utilities. Here's a list of file types or file extensions that are recognized and can have default maps loaded. Simply select the file type that you will be using and then click on Load Default Mapping button. If you do not produce files from that list, there's no problem. You may produce cut lists in a spreadsheet and save them in a comma-separated value format. Just make sure that if you use column headers, only row 1 contains that information. If you produce your file using Excel, when you're ready to save it, click on File, Save As, and from the pull-down list, locate CSV files, and save it. Okay, if you have your sample file saved, you're ready to begin. First we need to select what type of machine you have by clicking on the configuration button and choosing your machine, then update the configuration. Okay, now click on the mapping button and let's make sure that we've selected the file type that we'll be using. In this case, let's assume it's cabinet vision so we have a CUT file. And we'll open the sample file that we had created. Please ensure that the file type extension that you type here matches that of the file that you wish to locate. At this point now we can simply click on load a default mapping button, identify that this is a cut file, click on the load default mapping button, and our job is done. If your program was not listed as having a default map, no problem. Parseless Processor can work with other comma-separated value files such as those produced by Excel when saved as CSV files. In that case, you would simply type CSV here and open an example file such as the cabinet sample file we have here. And now we're ready to teach Parseless Processor what information is contained in each of our columns. What we're trying to do is complete the yellow highlighted line by teaching what information is present. Click on the column, the pull down list, and identify, for example, part information is in column 1, column 2 is quantity information, and so forth as we move from left to right. Parts List Processor is looking for these six basic pieces of data. In addition, you can include up to nine user fields which can be modified by simply highlighting and typing in a header that you wish to show. For example here we've used cabinet number. Now cabinet number is available as one of our selections to identify cabinet number information is in column 9. When we've finished our mapping process simply click on save the column mapping and display labels and we're finished. Click on the Done button and that will bring you back to this main screen. Unless you change your file format, you only have to do the mapping process one time. Now you're ready to do what you'll do on a daily basis and that is convert a comma delimited parts file to a razor gauge usable parts file by clicking this button. If the first row of your data contained header information rather than data, be sure to check this box at this time. Note that if you wish, you can also change your data from inches to millimeters or millimeters to inches. Open the sample file that we were working with earlier. And Partsless Processor will detect new part names if it has not previously identified them. If you wish those parts to be produced at the razor gauge, simply click the Yes button for each part that it identifies. Now each of those parts will be available in the checklist in the upper left corner. 
and they will be checked as valid parts and available for processing at the razor gauge. At this time, if you wish, you can modify any of the data available here. And when you're finished, simply create the razor gauge parts file and save it. It's recommended that you create a jobs folder to make finding the file in the future easier. Now your data is available to either be sent via your network or a USB flash drive to your razor gauge. At the razor gauge, simply click on the auto list button and open the file that you created. And here's the data that we made available to the parts list processor. Thank you for your time and attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your dealer or razor gauge directly.